Jim Sersley, United States Army, Vietnam veteran, served in Vietnam 1968 and 69. Uh, January 11th, 1969, while on a combat patrol in Vietnam, I stepped on a landmine, estimated to be about 20 pounds of TNT, and that explosion traumatically amputated both of my legs and my left arm above the elbow. 21 years of age, I just turned that in December, and again, whole life ahead of you, uh, maybe some plans, you know, as a young person, but all of that changed tremendously when you get injured to that extent. Well, uh, obviously just to get into a wheelchair and to be able to push it with one arm was something that's a brand new experience, was, a, was traumatic to try to figure out how to get around that way. Um, just using the bathroom, feeding yourself, getting dressed for the first time with one arm, all of those things that you took for granted before were now an extreme challenge on a day-to-day -day basis. Things having to do with the car, with the yard, things around the house that maybe a husband might normally do, I'm not able to do, so she picks up the difference and does a lot of those things as well too. So um, no doubt about it, there's probably no way in the world she could have a career and work outside the home and still be able to care for me with my disability. But what about our World War II vets, Korean veterans as well, that were injured, uh, seriously injured, and I'm sure at their age could have used caregivers' funds to have someone either respite care or someone in the home or another family member help to make their life more, more livable in that sense. So any segment that should be receiving caregivers' funds and is not, that's an inequity. And, and that bothers me a lot. And we need to work on that. We need to make sure that gets corrected. If you had funding to allow you to maybe hire someone to help do more things around the house, whether it be little, little chores of changing light bulbs, of replacing the screen door, Whatever the case may be, washing a car, for example, whatever it would be, uh, obviously some additional funding would allow us to do that, where today you're not able to do it, you've got to take care of it on your own. So it would certainly take a tremendous burden off of her to have funding to help us afford to do that. For these young men and women that have served their country, again, going all the way back to World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and uh, OAF and OEF soldiers, I mean, it's like, that's something you just have to do. That's the right thing to do for America.